guys, Steve here, Wilderness 333. We are headed into those mountains, um, but not in the normal way. This is going to be a spike. This is his first solo bushcraft trip where we're gonna go into the woods and I'm gonna let him off leash. And uh, he's seven months old and I have no idea what he's gonna do, like at all. He's already freaking out in here. And so we're gonna go on a short hike. I'm gonna let him off the leash. Um, this is sort of spur of the moment. I'm not carrying all the bushcraft essentials. I'm going out. I mean, I've got what I need. But yeah, so I think this will be fun. You can watch him jump out of this window. And uh, we'll see how he does. I might be coming back happy to have a dog or without a dog. <laughs> all right. Okay. He is dying to get loose. Come on, Spike. Come on. We have hiked him. Check out the shelter. I wish it was mine. But I mean, I wish I built it in other words. I didn't, they did pretty sweet work. So what I'm gonna do is I've uh, got some treats for him in a noisy bag. I wonder if I can show those to you. This isn't a dog training video, I'm not a dog trainer. We haven't trained this guy very much, but uh, I'm gonna have some hot dogs in a paper bag that'll make a lot of noise. So when he hears it, he'll come for it. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna release him. <laughs> and this might be, boys, our last video of Spike if he runs away. He gets eaten by a mountain lion, oh. Okay, well, he's off leash. He's coming to me on command and with the sound of the paper bag. I didn't film that because I didn't want the distraction. I want to pay attention to what I'm doing. I don't currently see him. See so if I can get him to come to me. Spike! Spike! Come here! Look who came back! Good boy! He loves the sound of that paper and he knows there's hot dogs coming. And he had gotten behind me and he came right up. Sound of my voice. Go ahead, bud. You're doing good. Spike, come here. Good boy. Good boy. This is actually really fun. Ha! Good boy. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't think about how dirty he's gonna get in the truck. Look at this. Come here, bud. Come here, come here, come here. He's still here. And uh, here's what I was looking for. Could I stop, plant, um, hang out for a while, do some things I wanted to do and not worry about him? And, uh, you know, he runs off, but he keeps coming back. He keeps checking in. Uh, so it's great. Hey, what would happen if I came out here, let him off? Um, from the training we've done and he's sticking around uh, This is a result. It's kind of funny. The kids have always wanted a dog. The wife has always wanted a dog uh, I always said no And you know how uh, you watch nothing fancy videos and you end up buying knives and boots and coats and hatchets and guns and everything else that he has on there He sort of has that effect on the market uh, I watched these videos on his dog last year dogness and frickin' lo and behold, I want a dog after watching his videos. It's, it's uncanny, his capacity to do that. So, uh, <laughs> that's the most expensive thing I've ever bought uh, off of a nothing fancy video. <laughs> I haven't bought one in a while after that, too. It kind of tapped us out. But uh, Brittany Spaniel, awesome dog, hunting dog, um, dog, I mean bird, hunting dog. And this has just been really fun. And as he gets older, I think it's going to get better. Having some hot dogs in a Ziploc bag in a paper bag has helped. My voice has done it. And he just loves people. I wouldn't say that I know the secrets to having uh, a dog who would do this. I sh man, I even want to knock on wood. We're not. We're only like halfway through the hike. But uh, he's been great. It's really fun. Um, I'm going to give having a dog today thumbs up. I'm going to give having a dog yesterday thumbs down. But hey, we do what we do. Um, but it's fun. The, uh, if, you, if you think about my channel, 
um, and I do from time to time. If you were to come across my channel uh, and you wanted to know what I was like, what Steve was like, um, you would get a piece of the pie here at this channel. Uh, you would not get, I mean, you'd get a piece that's a somewhat of a passion, somewhat of a hobby. I spent a lot of time doing it, but it would only be a piece of me. It wouldn't be a huge piece of me. Uh, and there's things about me, if you want to know me, that I think are, quite frankly, way more important than my love for the outdoors. That's that's key to me, but there's more. And, um, there's a spiritual side that's really huge. I've even thought about starting a second YouTube channel along those lines. I try to never Jesus juke on this channel. This is a bushcraft channel. But uh, there's so much more to me, and I think about it in realms of it. And uh, even with the dog, I've been praying to love the dog because it's been a struggle. And I know that's it's not silly. It probably sounds silly. I don't think it's silly. Theology for another day, another channel. Not going to be here. <laughs> but uh, it's fun. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll show you the end as we make it back. Um, and that'll be it. This video is probably too long already, so who knows what I have or have not edited out, but uh, we will check in in a minute. You guys have got to see this. I'm in a part of uh, the National Forest I've never been before. I'm liter literally surrounded by fatwood, and I see this tree. This is what you're looking for. And if that's coming through, you can tell that it's full of fatwood without me even cutting into it. Look at that. Look at that. It's hollowed out, burnt down. This will be full. Actually, it wasn't. But this whole thing, I'm going to leave it. You know, sometimes in the bullfights in Spain, a bull is so awesome, they don't kill it. This tree is that. It is so awesome, I won't harvest it. Until next time. <laughs> Dude, there's that wood everywhere. See that? Hey, bud, come here. Spike, come here. Look at that. Look at that. Good boy. So good. So good. He's tired. <laughs> I have worn him out. <laughs> I'm lost though. <laughs> you guys. This is Fatwood Heaven. So check this out. Guess where I'm at? Back at the truck. Whoops. Still have a dog. Gosh, he's making a mess. Uh, but yeah, we're ready to go home. It worked. I don't know how I'm going to get him, not dirty, but anyway, thanks for coming, guys. There you go. Brittany Spike. Spiky Spikerton. First trip. It was really fun having him out there. We found some beautiful places, and uh, we will return to them, and I'll show you some of the most beautiful fatwood you might ever see on my channel. Stay tuned.